Hi Michael, how are you? Yeah, to answer your first question, I watched the game on Friday night. Uh, what I will do is comment first of all on what Oren said about uh, the way the fixture was uh, made out. I uh, totally agree with him 100%. When you look at Cliftonville playing their game on Saturday at home to Warren Point, they had five, six days uh, to recover, prepare for, their, which was a massive game, a quarter final at Solitude. We're asking Coleraine to play a tough 95, 96 minutes at home to Lauren on the Tuesday. I thought it was totally unfair. You know, Orn and the club were in no position to rest players because they're obviously fighting for their lives to get into the top six. So people are wondering why Cliffin will come out all guns blazing and totally dominated the first 20, 25 minutes. Well, I'm telling you that that's the reason. No, they ask part-time players to have 48 hours recovery. It's okay if you're full-time and you're getting rubs and ice baths and things, I guess. But I, I honestly did. I thought it was totally unfair. Enjoyed the game. Uh, as I say, Coleraine showed great character to, to soak up everything Cliftonville threw at them. Obviously, Linden scored a great goal. But I just thought on the night, and this is my own personal opinion, that the formation, sort of, especially first half, sort of suited Cliftonville a wee bit more than it did Coleraine. You know, the fullbacks are sort of wingbacks, as they're called these days, Wilson and Carson. Didn't get really any joy down the wings, putting balls in the box. Uh, young Shevlin and James McLaughlin up front were very isolated. Any service they got was sort of food and drink for the Cliftonville big centre-backs. Uh, the three in midfield done a good job battling and trying to win second balls, but there seemed to be a massive gap between them and, uh, and the front two. You know, things see in second half. Uh, I don't want to even start talking about referees. And things like that because it's not my place now. I'm not involved, and but I've been saying it for a long, long time. They're just not good enough. Uh, especially, I can maybe understand the goal that Joe Gormley got. Uh, they couldn't see it or whatever, and things like that. But the, the penalty at the end was absolutely disgusting. No, and all these things he's phoning her, or and apologies and things. Like that, it's just not good enough in this this day and age, you know. I also felt that the boys who come off the bench uh, on Friday night, young lad McKendry looked very good, big Skinner come on, sort of threw himself about, held the ball up more, and and that's why you've got to give Coleraine a load of credit for the last 20, 25 minutes, pinning Cliftonville in, uh, and put them under severe pressure, and in my own personal opinion, I, I felt that they deserved at least a draw on extra time. Really looking forward to Sunday's Cup final, two of my old teams, Obviously, I'd always be grateful for Cliftonville for giving me a start in the Irish League and getting me across the water and things like that there. But anybody who I ever speak to, uh, especially now since I've finished playing, they always go back to my days and things like that, which, which suits me. Uh, from what I'm hearing, there's 11, maybe 12,000 tickets being sold. I know there's a massive buzz here about West Belfast and Cliftonville fans, and I'm sure it's the same down to Coleraine. Uh, and to have it on a Sunday too, why not? Why not try something different? If it doesn't work, then... At least you've tried, but from what I'm hearing, with the game being on live and stuff like everything is set up for a cracking game, you know. Uh, as for the game itself, I think Orn and Big Winky have a lot of thinking to do after tonight's games, and, and I'm really hopeful both teams get through tonight's league games, which again I think could have been scheduled for another time, but as it is without any in injuries, because you'd hate to see players losing out in a big cup final because of a, a league game which is played sort of three or four days before it. But that's the way it is. On the game itself, I, I, I think it's imperative that Coleraine match Cliftonville on the day. Last Friday night when I watched the game, and as you, if you've coached or managed anybody, I tell you, you sort of watch it in a different way. Instead of Coleraine setting out a 3-5-2, it sort of turned into a 5-3-2 and the gaps were too big. And I personally think Oren will go 4-3-3 and try and match them up and see how many personal battles they can win. I was really impressed with the lad Kelly in centre midfield on Friday night. Jimmy Glacken was a bit quiet, but we all know can be can win you a game with a, a bit of magic. So what I'm hoping is that them two, if they get the right personnel up front, I'm not telling them who to play or but it's not my job, but who can hold it in because it kept coming back too quick last Friday night. And it can give the wingers a chance to go and join in. And if Stephen Laurie can just sit, then it can give Kelly and Jimmy Glacken a chance, which they never really got going on Friday night, or a chance to do to get forward, especially on a big pitch like Windsor. We all know Cliftonville won't change. They're in a mindset now where they're winning games. They're confident. They trust the system. They trust their manager. And Paddy's doing a brilliant job. It's a massive, massive test for both clubs. And as I say, it's if Owen sets it up that they're going to match each other, it's who will win the most personal battles. But I feel the three in centre mid, Whoever gets in top in there will have the best chance to go on and win it. 
my own personal I'm not sitting on the fence here is I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw with Colway and win them penalties I, I actually think because of the way that both teams play and they want to get forward then there, there has to be goals in it especially on the as I say on a pitch like Windsor the two wide men at Clevenville are very very good very dangerous put great balls into the box so again you're looking your keeper to have a come and be strong you're looking they'll play one through the middle people say they rotate and things like that and they, they do it really well but Korean have, can match them uh, and I honestly feel that they have as good as players as them and I'm, I'm hoping everything goes really really well on the day for both clubs because with being on Sky Sports and stuff like that there it's a massive thing for Northern Ireland football in general so what I will say, I'll have a couple of pounds on a two each draw. I'll watch the game and may the best team win. But come on, the Bound Setters. Good luck, lads.